The Miami Dolphins came into the 2019 NFL Draft having done a ton of work in free agency with new head coach Brian Flores, so their approach was to add depth throughout the roster, not forcing any selections, and truly taking the best player available. You can see this approach in how they attacked their 5th and 7th round selections with players that could have a role within the regular offense or defense, but more than anything helps strengthen them on special teams. Now, what I liked about the Dolphins draft was the selection of Christian Wilkins out of Clemson. What makes him so dangerous is his explosive versatility. He can virtually serve in any role up front and be effective. I also liked how he had a great sense of timing as well at Clemson, seemingly making the play when they needed it the most. Building depth along the offensive line was another priority that I thought they did a great job of addressing. Both Michael Dieter out of Wisconsin and Isaiah Prince out of Ohio State are tremendous football players that have a bit of position flexibility as well, and Dieter could even push for a starting job this season at right guard. Preston Williams out of Colorado State gives them a receiver that's very similar to Devontae Parker. He showed great ability at Colorado State playing to his size at 6'4", 210. You can also see a path for him as a bigger inside receiver as well as a pro. Dwayne Hendricks has a variety of ways of getting to the quarterback. During the Tropical Bowl practices, I became impressed with his pass rushing ability. He was moved around a lot at Pitt, so finding a permanent spot with the Dolphins could allow him to blossom even more so as a pro. Trey Watson out of Maryland fits the MO of the Dolphins linebacking core. He's a guy that can easily play all three backer spots and is better in coverage than given credit for. He's a lot like what they already have on a roster in Chase Allen. And I was a big fan of Montre Hardage out of Northwestern. He's aggressive, got good mirror and match skills, and does a solid job of playing the ball. He's the perfect slot corner in my opinion. I gave the Dolphins a solid B for their draft. Again, a lot of their work was done in free agency, and one of their bigger moves in this draft was giving up a second-round pick for quarterback Josh Rosen, who should start day one at the position, giving them a lot of optimism in the process. Rosen's acquisition helps strengthen this class as a whole.